So, can we find the coefficient of x squared in 1 minus 3x to the power of 20 without fully expanding it and without using a calculator or Pascal's triangle? So this is the uh, challenge that we have at this point. So, 1 minus 3x to the power of 20. Now, we know that from our previous examples that this is going to be split up into three parts. 1, 2, 3. Now, the middle part is 1 to the power of something. Okay, that's coming from there. And the minus 3x is also being raised to the power of something. Now, we need x squared, so this has to be a 2. And so if that's a 2, then this has to be an 18 in order to add up to the 20. OK? So we now have the middle and the last section. We just need this one here. OK? Now, that comes from Pascal's triangle, but we can't draw out Pascal's triangle to the 20th row. We're not going to bother doing that. So, what are we going to do? This element here can be found by finding 20, so that's coming from that number there. Choose 2, because I want that power of x. Now, in order to find that, I've got to use the formula. Okay, so the NCR formula. So, NCR is n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial. This is given to you in the formula booklet. It's very early on with the binomial expansion. Okay? I don't really use the formula that much for binomial expansion because I just think it's easier to learn the pattern. So 20 choose 2. So this is 20 factorial over n minus r factorial, so 20 take away 2 factorial, so 18 factorial, and r factorial, so 2 factorial. Now, obviously, 20 factorial and 18 factorial are very large numbers. However, if I write them out as 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15 and so on and so forth, this is the same as 20 times 19 times 18 factorial. Because 18 factorial is just the 18 times 17 times 16, all the way down to times 2 times 1. So I now have an 18 factorial in the numerator and an 18 factorial in the denominator, which cancel, cancel each other out. 2 factorial is just 2 times 1, so just 2. And the 2 can cancel with the 20 to make 10. So actually, I've just got 10 times 19, so 190. And so this number that I needed was 190. So the coefficient, if I get rid of this x now, is 190 times minus 3 squared, so 190 times 9. So 190 times by 9 is the same as... One th uh, 190 times 10 and take away 190. <coughs> so 190 times 10, take away 190. So 1900, zero, zero, take away 190. Okay, so that's the same as 1900, take away 200. So 1700 plus the 10, so 1710. And that is the coefficient that I want. Okay, so. You could just do that using long multiplication, but I prefer to do it like that. So that's the coefficient that we want, and it took a few different steps. Remembering this kind of setup, I think is going to be very useful for you in order to um, solve these types of problems.